2025 BMW New E-Class, Everything We Know BMW's electric vehicle architecture will underpin at least six vehicles by the end of the decade. The BMW 1500 debuted at the 1961 Frankfurt Motor Show as the first of the new E-Class models, meaning new class in English. These vehicles were unlike anything the brand had ever produced, with crisp lines and chiseled shapes influencing the automaker's design language well into the 1990s. Until Chris Bangle showed up. BMW has a new new E-Class on the horizon that, much like the original, aims to revolutionize the brand. And not just stylistically. The modern new E-Class name represents an entire architecture for next-generation electric vehicles. We've already seen the new E-Class in concept form, twice, in fact, but the first of those new EVs won't debut until 2025. In the meantime, here's what we know. What is the BMW new E-Class? The new E-Class platform is specifically for EVs and it integrates batteries into a vehicle's structure. The packs range anywhere from 75.0 to 150.0 kWh, with the drivetrain supporting 800V packs and fast charging at up to 270 kW. When plugged in, the new E-Class will be able to add 30 miles of range every minute. The models riding on the new E-Class architecture use cylindrical battery cells that BMW is developing in-house. They offer 30% more energy in the same footprint as the current prismatic cells. These packs could provide a range as high as 621 miles between charges. What's under the hood? The new E-Class platform can handle a variety of electric motors ranging from 268 to as much as 1,341 horsepower the latter with a rumored quad motor setup. The powertrain can support rear and all-wheel drive configurations. It's also possible for two drive units to power the back wheels exclusively. What does it look like? It depends. Since new E-Class is a vehicle architecture rather than a single model, it can support multiple types of vehicles. The first product on this platform will reportedly be an electric crossover that will take over the iX3 moniker. The second will be a 3-series sized sedan allegedly in i320 or i330 variants. The company will also develop new E-Class vehicles specifically for China, and many will even use the new E-Class underpinnings, too. BMW will launch four more vehicles on this platform by the end of the decade. They'll reportedly include i1 and i2 entry-level EV offerings. There will also be an iX4 coupe-shaped crossover in 2026. In September 2023, BMW introduced the Vision New E-Class concept at the IAA Mobility Show in Munich. It heralds back to the New E-Class models of the 1960s with a chiseled shape, but with modern amenities like 3D printed lighting elements. Inside there's a new take on the automaker's iDrive infotainment system, including a panoramic vision head-up display spanning the windshield. Will the new E-Class get an M model? Probably. Although BMW doesn't offer many details about the performance models riding on the new E-Class platform, the company did file a trademark for the name IM3, and there are rumors that a potential M model could use a quad-motor setup making as much as 1,341 HP. If BMW follows its normal launch cadence, look for the meaner models to come a year or two after the standard versions. When does it debut? The first model on the new E-Class platform will debut in the second half of 2025. BMW will initially build the new E-Class models in Debrecen, Hungary, and Shenyang, China. It will begin assembling them in Germany in 2026, and other models will come from Mexico starting in 2027. How much will it cost? It depends on the vehicle. Since at least six vehicles will ride on the new E-Class platform, they will be available at various prices. While we don't have any firm numbers yet, the new batteries are reportedly less expensive than the current ones. The lower manufacturing costs mean that the model's costs could be closer to existing combustion-powered models. Mm -hmm.